That's it, baby. That is it right there. Right there, right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, darling. Look at you. You're so hot. You're so hot. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. We're a bad land. It's FAA regulations. You need to take your seat. We really need you to take your seat. Open the door. What can I say? Ma'am. Hi. Consider it a gift. It'll re-dampen the dustiest of bat caves if you get my drift. Thank you. Just stay. Why the hey, want to stress, Mr. Walkers, is the unity of death. We believe this isn't the end of your mother's life, but an opportunity to bring together all those elements so greatly deserve to be celebrated. As you can see in our brochure, we offer a variety of packages to suit every need, however turgid or contoured they may be. Will your sister be joining us today? My sister had an emergency and missed her earlier flight. So in interest of time, this is the obit that my mother wanted. <clears throat> this she only wanted to open by the funeral home. And this is where, uh, well, you know, this is where she wanted her ashes to go. <sighs> she loved whales. Untraditional, yes. But we always strive to satisfy the last wishes of a loved one. Oh, uh, that reminds me. This is the picture that she wanted for the paper. It was her, uh, it was her favorite shot. Hmm, lovely. Oh, it looks like you have another sister. That's me. Very well, then. <laughs> we'll, of course, take care of everything. Rest assured, Mr. Walker's that we at Forever and a Day will do everything in our power to create an environment as tasteful and befitting as your loved one deserves. Knock yourself out. Did anyone ever tell you your beak's kind of fucked up? You really should talk to your manufacturer. Who's ever heard of Sad Food's Duck? Hello? Daddy and I can come to the phone right now, so please leave a message after the beep. Congratulations. You've made it to level five. Bye. A map. A guru. Lesson three. Give me some love. And to really understand the root of the problem, you have to dig down deep into the actual roots. R-O-O-T-S. Resignation, observation, outlook, tenacity, and spirituality. Resignation, observation, outlook, tenacity, 
spirituality. That's it. You can do it. Be the change. Be the change. Come on, say it with me. Be the change. 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 Again, with more tenacity. Be the change. Be the change. Be the change. Brandon, be the change. Don't just want it, you gotta be it. Be the change. <sighs> yeah, I got this. <laughs> Get off my ass, man. Be the change. You need to be the change, right? Be the change. she's gonna do. You know the bullshit she's gonna throw your way. Just handle it. Stay calm. Do not engage. Alright? Do not engage. Just... Be the change. Be the change. Just be the change. You gotta be the change. Be the change. <sighs> Holy fuck. Fucking hell, man. Careful with the curse words, Brandon. <sighs> Get off. You're late. Actually, Star, you're late. A Prius, Brandon? Really? Don't touch really? me. Really? I mean, aren't you supposed to be all degayified and shit? I mean, what? Was the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile not available? A, it's called a process, and B, fuck you. <sighs> hey. Hey. Hey, holding up. Shitty. You? Shitty. Well, if there's one thing I've learned in this family, it's misery loves company. Seatbelt. Thank you. By the way, did you enjoy the George W. book I sent you for your birthday? Yeah. Yep, uh, you could see that. Okay, home sweet home. Yep. Well, your room, your room is pretty much, well, just like you left it. I'd, uh, about to make us some dinner. The hood, Does it smell different? No, that's the smell of stagnation. This is Iowa, nothing ever changes. Oh, you, uh, you remember mom's little, uh, obsession? Yep. Brace yourself. She discovered eBay. Holy batches. Yeah. Brandon, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? I don't know. <laughs> we have an appointment with Ira in the morning, so. Ira? Mm -hmm. Is he still around? Yeah. I thought he would've joined a commune with the Vienna Boys Choir or something. <sighs> nope. He's actually taking this pretty hard. So we can't be late. Feels strange, doesn't it? I gotta go get changed. Okay. I'll uh I'll get dinner. All right. Veggie burgers, here we go.
Dinner's ready. Coming. Uh, mom's recipe. Hmm. Found her old book. It's the veggie burger. C can we uh, just can we say grace before we even? You think I'll burst into flames or something? <sighs> Please, for mom. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father. Please bless this meal which we are about to receive. Please continue to give us strength and guidance. Please watch over the soul of our dearly departed mother. Amen. Ah. Uh do you always have to be so irreverent? Do you always have to have a stick so firmly shoved up your rectum? Okay, so, enough of the gay stuff. I'm just trying to add a little levity, Brandon. It's not like anyone died or anything. Tough crowd. <sighs> so how's it all going? What? The cult thing. You mean the program? The cult program, whatever. The thing where you all shave your head, sit in a circle, and all sing Kumbaya while you're trying to exercise the Lady Gaga out of you. Not that you deserve to know, but it's good. Actually, thank you. Good. Things are going good. I've made a lot of distinct strides, a lot of big changes. I've had to step away recently because of the because of the cost, mm. but uh, I made it to level five. Level five? Huh? Mm. Level five. It's a crucial level. It's the level where you finally become at peace with, with who you are. Gay. No, Star. Like I've said, no one's really gay anymore, okay? Mm -hmm. Society's confused. We're getting things thrown at us from all angles. Social media, technology, we're all confused. Mm -hmm. And I was just, I was just a little lost, okay? And now? Now? Uh, Well, I got a complete level five still, so. How about you? Oh, I'm good, yeah. I'm um, thinking of moving again, probably overseas. Really? Yeah. What about Chelsea? Well, her dad and I aren't really seeing eye to eye on visitation rights right now. Mm. I have no money for a lawyer, and uh, he says that, um, she doesn't even want to see me, so. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear you're stuck on level five. Yeah, me too. You know what we need, Brandon? What? One word. What? You know. I don't. Where are you going? One second. Final. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a baby. And, um, where'd she put it? Ah! Oh, no. Mom's famous hooch squeezed between each and every one of her bipolar little no. toes. I really shouldn't, okay? Oh, come try, Brandon. You most definitely should. Uh. Life is too short. Just ask Mom. She's dead. Yes, thank you. That's plenty. Need a little more? No, that's an. Oh, <laughs> that was fun. I can't believe she's gone. Same. You know? Same. You know what she said to me before she died? Uh, what'd she say? She said, look at this thing destroying me from the inside out star. You two have a lot in common. That's what she said. Star, she was joking. Yeah. She was joking. Yeah, that was mom. Always uh, joking. Uh, uh, that was fun. <laughs> you know, any good shrink will tell you that mom had cock issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. I mean, think about it. She couldn't hold a healthy relationship down with a guy. So she surrounded herself with these big... Blubbery, flashy, 
cocks. Okay, you're, I mean, Brandon, you're don't deranged. You some of this even affected you, right? I mean, you this literally not... grew up in a house with all of these things looking at you no matter where you went. I mean, no wonder you loathe what you can't do without. I mean, Why? look at all these whales! Why are we back here again for the last time? I'm not going to say it again. I am not gay. Yeah. And bats don't shit in the dark. Come on, Brandon. I'm just telling it like it is. <laughs> oh. Okay, if we're telling it like it is, how about telling me why your daughter wants nothing to do with you, huh? What? You heard me. I mean, can you blame her? <laughs> I mean, between the ever-revolving door of boyfriends <laughs> and the constant need to move every few months, I mean... <laughs> You've done a pretty bang up job of putting a solid wall between the two of you. A wall? Oh a my wall. god, if that isn't a the fucking wall. In the kettle black. What's the pedal in the black? I don't even, what does that even mean? I don't if know. If you're talking about a wall, Brandon, you are the most prolific builder of them all. You're a gay Republican, Brandon! A fucking gay Republican! I mean, if that's a fucking oxymoron if ever there was one. I mean, come on! For the last time, I'm not gay! Yeah! Tell that to all the yoga slingers you've had an up close and personal with since you hit adolescence. I'm just telling it like it is. That's fucking it. That's it. What are you doing? That's it. Get up. Why are you walking around in circles? Come on. We're doing are this right you here. Challenging me? That's it. Come on. I'm not joking. Get up. Come on. Are you challenging me? What are you doing? Stretches. Ooh, no Tai Chi now, okay? It's not the same as before. Do you remember before. what happened the last time we did this, Brandon? Yeah, I was a little fucking boy then. Now I'm grown. Do you remember? Right? Yeah, I remember. I'm Just look at me now, huh? I'm grown. Ooh, ooh. Grown now, Brandon, but I don't think you know the true nature of a scrapper. Yeah, yeah. Just stay. If you did... Stay away. Yeah, yeah. I think if you did, you would lay down and save us both the trauma! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! I'm not gay! <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Don't know how much your mother meant to me. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess we should just jump right in. Now, before I read anything, I want to say that your mother was a very special and unique woman. <laughs> Stop it. I, Claire Samantha Walkers, of sound mind and body. As soon as I'm done here, I'm gone. I'll be first in line to help pack your bags. You hereby bequeath. All my personal effects, savings, and tangible property. You're such a tool. You're such a bitch. Equally to both my children, Star Elizabeth Walkers and Brandon Tyler Walkers, respectively. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Don't let the door hit you in your ass, okay? Stop it. I should let you know, there's a catch. In order for the property to be divided equally between both parties, your mother has requested the following. My dearest poochies, while I don't have much to offer in a way of my legacy, I do have the house, oh, my whale collection, oh, and the Winnebago, the Cinnabago, and a small pittance of savings in the bank. It is my wish you will do what you will with it, with my blessings, to hopefully make your situation that much better. Lord knows you each need help in a myriad of ways. My only contingency is that you take my ashes and um, inter them in the body of a whale. What the fuck? What do you mean? Uh, it's my final wish that the remnants of this vessel that failed me will become one with our mammal brethren of the deep. If you complete this request, what's mine is yours. If not, deals off and you get squat. ASPCA gets everything else. It's pretty simple. Rules are no flying and you must go together. Oh, and you have 48 hours to do it. Good luck and try not to kill each other. <laughs>
Mr. Rhodes, uh, my mom, she was pretty eccentric. I, I, I don't think she was a vet. Signed and notarized. These were, in fact, her final wish. In turn, in the body of a well, what are we supposed to do? Just piss God off and be swallowed by one? <laughs> well, she also left you this. Mr. Rhodes, hi. Um, <clears throat> As much as I appreciate Mom's final desire to be whale food, my brother and I need this inheritance for various personal issues, yeah. okay? So I... You know, your mother was really something special to me. What do you mean? Me and a bunch of other local free spirits, and you know, she would run around on various solstices, you know, howling at the moon and whatnot, naked, running around a campfire. Boy, it was something to see. I'll never forget the first time I saw your mother's bosoms naked for the first time, glistening in the moonlight. Two nipples erect like two silver bullets point to the heavens. That woman could make a man win dingo in a moment's notice. Just, just fully cocked and erect and ready to take her like the wild wood nymph she was. Uh. Am I... <clears throat> Look, what you do with your mother's assets is your own business. My only horse in this race is to be sure that you fulfill the obligations that your mother's requested. That's the least I could do for her. So I'm here to tell you what. This will be done or no dice. You got me? You got me? Good. Good. Well, I will need um, periodic photographic updates to keep me abreast of your progress. And of course, I'll need proof that the ashes have reached their intended destination. <laughs> All right, well, your time starts now. Good luck, and I look forward to hearing from you. And I hope you can have a nice day. Poochies. Grab some things from the house, go to the funeral home, snack the ashes, and get going. You're not actually thinking of doing this, are you? Do you think we have a choice? You heard him. These are her final wishes. We have to honor them. Final wishes, Brandon? Mom also wished you were the daughter she never had, OK? You were this close to being one of those kid gender reassignment horror stories you hear about on the news. Honestly, the idea of spending two days with you in a car makes me want to edible my own eyeballs. But let me be frank, I need to get to level five. And I'm broke. I really need this money. So do you. Please stop. Who's Frank? What? You said you wanted to be Frank. Who's Frank? I don't understand. It's a joke, Brandon. Jesus, this is gonna be a long two days. Beds and all. Do what? Yeah, she used it to deliver animals for the ASPCA, so that's why the, uh... Ages. What's with all the spray paint? What? Oh. Spray paint? Uh, that was her little protest anarchy group. Her protest anarchy what, Brandon? <laughs> it's the whole, you know, save the animals thing. If anyone in town did anything to hurt an animal, then um, in came wait. Mom with her merry gang of tricksters and psh, busted out the spray paint. Good to know Mom was a tagger. Yeah. How much confidence do you have that this bucket will actually make it? This old girl? I'm cautiously optimistic, actually. We are so getting stranded and gang raped by a clan of rabid hillbillies somewhere in the Ozarks. Socially sensitive as always. Oh, nice. Again, it's a joke, Brandon. It's not a joke. My God. It's like your funny bone disappeared right around adolescence. About the time you started getting your period. No, that's not how it is, okay? We just have a slight difference of opinion as to what funny is, okay? Rape? It's not funny. Rape by itself, Brandon, isn't funny, okay? Rape brought on by an absurd road trip to bury your mother's ashes in the body of a whale with your brother who hates you and your shit kicker RV stalls in the middle of nowhere where some toothless roaming gang of Manson family rejects has their way with you. Now <laughs> that is funny. I don't hate you, Star. What? I don't hate you. I just... I don't understand you sometimes. Well, I don't exactly have you nailed down either. No. 
My guess is one of us was adopted. Yeah. Oh my god. Muffler man. What? Muffler man. Over there, over there. Turn, 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 turn. It's the I'm muffler not, man! I'm not, over there! I'm not turn! Alright, 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 alright. It's not that hard. You just gotta turn. Okay, okay, okay. You just gotta turn. Let me stick I'll help you turn. Let me stick Do you want me to help you get turn off the wheel? wheel. Star? It's so easy. Just go like this. So right, quickly, okay? Yeah, it's just so quick. Nothing bad's gonna happen. I need the keys. What are we doing here? Evidence. Come on. Star. Come on. Look, who said there's no culture in the middle of America? Huh? We, we really need to get back Look on the road. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? Okay, come over here. Why? Okay, stop right there. Stop right there. Don't move. Okay. Say cheese. Come on, Brandon. Don't be a party pooper. This is the family road trip you always wanted. Just move. Just that, that way, just a little to the left, that way. Okay, stop, 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 stop. And catch! Whoa, what the heck is that? One thing I can count on, Bran Bran, your utter lack of athleticism. What are you doing? What's that for? Having a great time, Mr. Rhodes. Wish you were here, especially Brandon. Wait. XO, XO. What? You're not sending. Send. Yeah, let's go get a sorbet. I don't want to get a. Wake in the morning feeling slow Pour a little sugar in a cup of joe There ain't no reason for the hustle and flow Because I got good love and that's all I know Desert high, desert low there Ain't no joke of gonna steal my show Desert high, desert low And you can tell anybody that I told you so Did you ever wonder what it's all really about? Seriously? Someone slipped a cliche pun in your drink this morning, huh? Don't tell me you're actually having a pang of meaning and purpose. Yep. And it's sitting in my colon, right next to my heat lamp being burrito. That's disgusting. Seriously, what's your take? Well, I mean, if you really want to know... I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's, it's, it's confusing. There's, there's lots, lots going on, you know? That's your answer. Your agnostic sister just opened Pandora's Bible box to talk about Jesus' life and all that BS, and your answer is I'm not exactly sure. Well, I'm not. Jesus, delusional much, Brandon? He's not using his name. FYI, when I say his name, it's not because I'm cursing him, it's because I see him sitting there on your shoulder like this little miniature white robed Jesus cockatoo. What? You should feel so cool, Brandon. You're like, the Beretta of born again Christians. Beretta? Is that a gun? How long till our next stop? Not soon enough, okay? So just let me drive. Ain't no joke of being steam much. Desert high, desert low. And you can tell anybody that. church no one wants to go to church just saying nice it's church. tuesday it's nice church do you go to church every sunday yeah every sunday when was the last time you went to church star i would burn when i walked in just leave it all right i don't want to talk to you about this anymore <gasps> Fuck! yeah oh my god so what it's not that cool do you smell that did you fart i'm not five anymore is that you that's a skunk 
No, I think that's you. It's a smell. Whoever, whoever smells it dealt it. It's a smell. Whoever okay. smells it. Look at that shit that's burning in the distance. Do you see that? Look. But it's not good for the ozone layer. Do you even fart? Let's go back in beside you. All right, shut up. Hey, no joke is Do you time. tan your legs? Do you tan them really? Do you just, you just decide never to go out and open? I'm trying to Why even it out. You could tell. Stop with my shorts. They're just shorts. So up high. I'm not talking about your so, boots or anything. Yeah, just like so up there. Just leave them alone. Like, What's like what in, all the, in all the wrong places or in the right places? Great landing, Brandon. Thank you, Star. You're like, you know how to drive this vehicle. Oh, thank you, Star. Do you, do you think we should, uh... Leave Mom? I don't think she's going anywhere. <sighs> this doesn't look like a Motel 6. Well, because it's not. It's Aunt Jackie's place. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't start, okay? Mom hadn't talked to Aunt Jackie in years, Brandon. I'd venture to say there's a good reason for that. I know, but money is tight. Right? And she's expecting us. She wants us here. Just be cool. Keep your opinions to yourself. You can only stay in the van if you don't want to. I just figured that she and Herr Randall would have moved to Argentina where Mossad couldn't find them. They're not Nazis, Star. They're social conservatives, OK? Who aren't afraid to wear their feelings on their sleeves. Yeah, it's too bad that those sleeves are attached to flowing white robes and matching face hoods. Listen. This would have been really important to mom, okay? So it's important to me. Please be nice. There you go. All right. Smile. Oh. Hello. Uh-oh, Jackie, locked down the neighborhood. They're letting Yankee pinkos in left and right. Randall, stop it. Don't pay attention to him. Come in love on your Aunt Jackie's neck. All right. Come uh, here. Actually, I was a little bit worried as those damn heathen Jehovah's Witness again. Please come on. Hey. All right. Come on, Randall. You know Jehovah's Witnesses are just like Christians. They're just a little more eccentric. They're a cult. Them and the Mormons. In my book, anybody that dresses alike, definitely a cult. Looked in the mirror lately. <clears throat> Star, Brandon. Is this is your cousin, little Pepe. Our cousin. Little Pepe. And the operative phrase tonight, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh. Well, we've already eaten, but you're welcome to join us for dessert. We waited. We made enough for five. Welcome to our home, Good morning. huh? Okay. Welcome to our home. Actually, uh, uh, bienvenido a la casa de Hill House. We're learning Spanish for little Pepe here. Uh, Randall, why don't you take their bags upstairs and we will go into the dining room for dessert, okay? That's right, okay. Pepe, milgunos platos de la cucina ahora. Andale. Please come in. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> wow, it's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you have got your mama's eyelashes. Look at how long they are. Oh, dear God. <gasps> I was hoping you would notice this. <laughs> I've been collecting for years. You know, he was in St. Joe once, came to christen a Walmart, and Channel 6 News, the Channel 6 News, came here to do a story on my collection. I just want you both to know that God, God definitely has a very twisted sense of humor. I don't understand. Uh, Star, she just finished his autobiography. That I did, Brandon. Well, what did you think? I mean, didn't you find it insightful? Definitely had quite the experience with it. That's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> Let's sit. Let's have some torta. As foster parents, we really feel it's important to integrate Pepe's native culture into his daily life. For instance, learning the language. My favorite is uh, Taco Thursdays. <laughs> Pepe, you can go fetch the cake now, okay? La torta, Pepe. Ahora. You are gonna love this cake. We got it at a bakery downtown. Run by um, an oriental family. I think you mean Asian family. No, they're not Asian. I think they might be Chinese. I think they might be Japanese or uh, Taiwanese. 
Vietnamese, somewhere in the rice belt where I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They all look the same, so. Randall. What? Not, not, look, you got to be honest with yourself. I mean, they might look at us and think we all look the same. Did you ever think about that? They all have their own distinct cultures, histories, languages, arts. I mean, what you're saying, Uncle Randall, is uh, <laughs> kind of racist. <clears throat> you know what? The boy's right. Let me tell you a true story. When I came back to Missouri from Iraq, one, first place I went was the Bamboo Hut. It's right there off US Highway 50. And I ordered the specialty of the house, cashew chicken. And then it hit me. Well, this is what it's all about. All of it. This is what we're fighting for. I mean, all of the military and the fighting and the maiming and the killing. Cashew chicken. Because what is cashew chicken? It's breaded chicken and some oyster sauce and you sprinkle some cashews on it, voila. What do you have? Exotic foreign dish. Now, you take that same breaded chicken and you serve it with some Heinz 57 ketchup. Boom. What do you got? Chicken nuggets, right? It's all the same. Now, it might look a little bit different, right? But on the inside, it's all the same. That is beautiful. Thank you, Jackie. Of course, I like to think that the best part of the chicken is the white meat. Ah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at that, oriental chocolate cake. Pepe, visto, no, oído. He's told him to sit down. And to be quiet. See? All right, pass your plate, son. Um, so what are the plans? Gonna be a funeral? Mom, she didn't want a funeral. What? No funeral? I mean, is a preacher at least gonna bury her? Mom didn't really care for preachers either. Houston, we have a problem. She just lived her life in a certain way and felt that her death should be consistent with that, that's all. I am not one to gossip, but I have to say this because it's on my heart. I feel you two are doomed to go down the same path. We have ignition. What path? Are you referring to? Exactly? Well, damnation. Damnation. And I don't just mean spiritually. I mean life in general. I've known you two had challenges, even as children. Challenges? Go for it. I'm just sitting here eating my cake being cool. With all due respect, Aunt Jackie, you don't even know Star and I. We haven't seen you since we were kids. And if I'm not mistaken, Mom left the house at, what, 17? And she only got and hold of you a handful of times over the years, so I don't really... Yeah, that was really my choice because I did not need to keep a relationship with a sister who couldn't keep her legs closed. Whoa, what? We have left off. What is that supposed to mean? I think she just straight up called Mom a slut. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Jackie, just... No, let me talk. They're adults. Your mother was selfish through and through, and her inability to give you any guidance whatsoever is the reason that you are the way you are. <clears throat> and Jackie, can, can I ask a question? You, and you can tell me the truth. Um, was Uncle Randall not giving you the hard and heavy like you liked it? <laughs> Excuse me? What? Because I'm sensing someone had a shag with the gardener and was just too afraid to admit it. Star. All right, now we're, we're not going to have that talk. Come on, Pepe's not from a foster program, right? I mean, you banged your way to free child labor. I mean, come yeah. on. OK, I understand your need to inject levity into an uncomfortable situation. Right, right, just like Pablo the Pool Man injected his spicy bean burrito into you. I mean, I'm just saying it like Star. it is. OK, Jackie, no, right? that's it. Pepe, come on. OK, nope. Bedtime. Come on, sweetie. <clears throat> You're not funny. No, not. OK. Buenos noches, senorita. That's polite. You're not. And I'm not a racist. I've got a brown boy living in my house. Apparently, you've mistaken my active, disciplined, and present role in my child's life as something it's not. But then again, I guess you wouldn't know what a 
present role is, would you star? Meaning? How's your daughter? I mean, I haven't heard you mention her at all. I didn't say anything. No, you don't have to. You don't exactly scream Mother of the Year award. <laughs> yeah. We're done with cake time. There's extra blankets on the guest bed. I'd like it if you were out of here by breakfast. You might want to pull back on throwing stones, Star. You're not going to be able to see your own house with all the cracks. That went well, huh? You think I hated mom? Well, yeah. Didn't you? Love like hate. Grow up, Brandon. They're all versions of the same thing. Right, yeah. <laughs> grow up. Me grow up. I thought you were an intruder. Unreal star. You are a sick girl. Why would you bring that kind of behavior into our home? You want some? What do you think is in these things? Oh, good old not talking a star game. Met your... Lips and assholes. Excuse me? Lips and assholes, that's what's in them. Huh. How fitting. What do you mean, how fitting? It's a planes, trains, and automobiles quote, okay? And here we are on a road trip, you see? Fitting. Ah, right genre. John Hughes, wrong movie, great outdoors, Ebert. You know, John Wayne said that you can never trust a guy who doesn't drink or get his John Hughes reference is correct. That's a fact. So something I have to tell you. What? 
it's not that easy to say, so I just have to blurt it out. <laughs> this ought to be good. I masturbate to George Bush. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was there. Front row, remember? No, I don't think you understand. It's not the first time. We've done this before? Yeah. Is this Junior Bush or Senior too? Brandon. What? I'm sick, but I'm not that sick. Although, no, W, he's the one. There you have it, that is what I do. You've pulled a lot of shit over the years, Star, but this, this is fucked. I evidently have sexual compulsion disorder. Oh. I'm getting much better. I now have the tools to reflect any expressionary relief back on myself. Back on yourself? Yeah. By masturbating. Yeah, a lot. Right. Yeah, a, a whole lot. Gotcha. Okay, thank you for that. It's great. <sighs> what about you? What about? When was the last time you, you know? When was the last time I what? What is that? Oh my God, it's like pulling teeth with you. When's the last time you, you know, Polish the bishop. I'm not talking about this what? with you. What? Days, okay? weeks, months? Not, what? not talking what? about this with you. What? Uh, what? If you can't talk to your sister, Brandon, who can you tell? Anyone but my sister. Oh, my God. <sighs> Two. Two weeks? God. You're so pent up. Two months? You haven't gotten off in two months? Two months, but I would die. No, Star. Oh my god. Brandon. What? Two years, so what? Two years. It's no big deal. Not a big deal. I mean, is everything in working order down there? Yes, everything is in working order down here. Thank you very much. We're just not all jackrabbits like you. Two years, Brandon, I hate to tell you, but that's not normal for a guy. That is not normal for a gay guy. Oh. Okay, I'm surprised you haven't gone into Starbucks and gone completely postal. Maybe some people in this car have a little bit more self-worth than others, huh? You ever thought about that? Yeah. You know, for someone who doesn't like a dick, see a dick, or want to play with a dick, you've certainly got being one down pat. Yeah, well, for someone who sees them all the time, apparently, you sure talk about them a lot, you know that? I already admitted I have issues, Brandon. What oh. is your excuse? Excuse? Uh. Sometimes the solution of a problem is not obsessing every second of the day on the obsession, okay? You're not an animal star. Be evolved. Try it. It's the latest rage. I liked you better when you weren't judging my life. I liked you better when you weren't prying into mine. Fine! Fine. Oh, my God, Brandon! <laughs> Distracted by your bullshit. Why are you talking to me about? What are look you? How sad they look. Put them down. What do we do? You're touching them. They got rabies. Oh my. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Oh my God. What do we want to do with them? Uh, we can't just leave them here, Brandon. You murdered their mother. Why was she crossing with her whole family? That's so irresponsible. Don't they have instincts for this kind of stuff? There she was, minding her own business, taking her little otter family to her little otter home on their little otter river, when BAM! Instant otter orphans. Yeah, all right, okay, I get it. Breaks my heart, too, but all right, we gotta go. No. We don't have time for no. this. No, some hawk will probably pick them off like a little popcorn shrimp. No. Just... What do you want to do? No. 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 I don't think this is sanitary. What? Them. They're diseased, probably. What do you mean diseased? Disease, like bird flu. They're otters, Brandon. Not chickens. How can otters have bird flu? This is kind of funny. What's kind of funny? You being all hell bent on safety otters. 
It's called humanity. No, that's not the reason it's funny. It's funny because this is precisely what mom would do. It's like mom down to a T. She would absolutely do exactly the same thing. And here you are. <laughs> I guess the apple doesn't fall that far from the tree after all. Yeah, what do I know? Just a stupid observation. Is that what I think it is? We have to go there. Look at the time, okay? We, we really want to keep Brandon, going. Brandon, just live a little. I mean, for God's sake, crack the windows for the babies and let's go. Plus, it's picture time again. Snap a picture and get back on the road. Plus, we can't leave your rodents for too long. A, they're not rodents. Rodents aren't cute. Anything that's cute instantly disqualifies itself as a rodent, hence why the jury's still out on you. And B, you gotta give me five minutes to ride a tilt world, because a little known fact, it's a law. When you come to the fair, you have to ride a tilt world. Oh, and you also have to get fingered in the spooky house, but I'll let you off the hook on that one. The levels of inappropriateness, they never cease to amaze me. That's why you love me. That's why you love me. God. So much. I can't say God, because I'm religious. Can you hurry up? It's like you're literally dragging me backwards. Marching around, okay. I feel like your legs are so small. I feel like you've got such good muscle tone in your legs, that I feel like you would walk faster. Just stop you know dragging I mean? like, me, okay? I'm not your stride. child. Like, stride. Try to, like, use your leg force and I like my walk, you all right? Just leave me alone. Hey, what? stand right there. Why? Stand right there. Just do it, okay? What do you want me to do? Stay there and shrug like this. Why? I'm not... Just do it. Be a good sport. Please, just shrug. And look over and go, cheese. Why? Just do it. Just go, cheese. Then go. we're going, okay? Be a good sport, Brandon. Cheese. And send. Wait, no, did you not? Who wants a corn dog? I'm buying. Let me see that. Oh, Just come on. I want a corn dog. Excuse me, is this your child? No, oh, okay, thank you. Helpful. Are you lost? Where's your mama, huh? You don't know? What do you think? I don't know, I mean, this isn't like the Otter the Star. We can't just stick him in a cage and put him in the back of the RV. It's gonna be against some law somewhere. We can't just leave him, Brandon. I know, I was joking, all right. You're right, you're right. Let me just, uh, I'll go find an office. Maybe they can make an announcement or something. Will you, will you stay here in case his parents come back? Star? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to get some corn dogs with me? Yeah? Okay. Why don't you come with me? Let's go. This is going to be fun in here. <gasps> Look at all those games. Do you see those? <gasps> and all the lights. Yeah. Okay, there's a corn dog stand over there. And I'm gonna get you a few corn dogs and then I'll come back, okay? Sit over here and I'll be back in two seconds. High five. Yay! Hey, what can I do you for? Can I get three corn dogs, please? You don't look familiar. Are you from around here? Does it look like I am? I can show you around. I'm good, thanks. Um, how much do I owe you? Well, they could be on the house. <laughs> as enticing as it is to trade sexual favors for processed meats and fried cornmeal on a stick, I think I'll pass. I have to get back to the... Uh, excuse me, have you seen a little boy here? No. Oh, no. Shit. Excuse me, I've seen a little boy, he's about four years old. Triple shit. Okay, Star, good news. Found the office, they have a lost and found. They said just bring him. Where is he? I lost him. You joking? Where? I turned my back for a split second and, and he's gone. Damn it, Star. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what you always do. 
What do I always do, Brandon? What do you always do? You fuck everything up. What, what, what do you... Star. Star. Oh. found the kid, by the way. Someone took him back to the office, and they were waiting for him, so. Thank God. Yeah. 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 Are you mad? No. You? No, I'm, uh... I'm sorry. I think I'm an awful person. What? Come on, Brandon. You don't have to dance around it. I mean, what kind of mother... <laughs> ...basically abandons her daughter? I mean, who does that, right? Star, there's... I just need to hear it from you, Brandon. I need you to tell me... ...what an awful person I am and how... Screwed up I am. I need you to tell me that, please. I'm not judging you, Star. I just think that there's more to you. You could be so much more. You could be... Be what, Brandon? Chelsea was young, and I was still living with Mitch. She got sick, okay? She got really, really sick. Fever through the roof, dripping with sweat, and I was home alone. Let me tell you, I was overwhelmed. And I didn't want to tell Mom, because I thought that she would think that I did something wrong. And in some strange way, I thought she was gonna die that night. That she was gonna die right there in my arms. She was so beautiful, but she was so sick. And I thought, this is it, right? This is my fault. God gave me this beautiful, this beautiful little girl to take her away from me and to teach me a lesson, right? Because that's what I do, Brandon. It's what I do, and it's who I am. Who are you, Star? I'm broken, Brandon. I hurt people and I let them down. And I know that. It's in my DNA. I am the way I am with Chelsea. <laughs> because the only chance she has in this life is for me as far away from her as possible. She's just... She's just better off without me. It's not true. You know... You know one of the things? that they pounded into us at these retreats. Perfection, true perfection, is not when there's nothing more to add. It's when there's nothing left to take away. And that means? Fuck if I... 
<laughs> that's the bullshit you've been learning for all these months. Like, that's it? That's, like, what you have from that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've been spending my money on. It's good, right? <laughs> you should stop spending money. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Be okay. In the way we'd always see the stars at night, the way the feeling travels on the I miss my home. Some days I close my eyes. Worse. Do we find a dead body under the bed? Huh. Okay, guys, welcome to your new home. We are one big happy family. Family. It's got to be one of the most perverse words in the English language. Do you actually feel that way? No star. It's just our quip. It's our shtick, right? Oh, what do you repartee? Don't overthink it. I feel sorry for you. Excuse me? Not in a condescending, holier-than-thou way. I just... Every time I look at you, Brandon, all I see is pain. <laughs> you see what? Pain? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, okay? Are you? Just because we had a little moment earlier doesn't give you the right to vivisect my brain, okay? Would you please stop pretending to care so much? Well, I'm your oldest sister, and that is what we do. Yeah, well, don't strain yourself. You know what? You're exactly like Mom. It's not even funny. Excuse me? Just pretending to care when you haven't given a shit about anyone but yourself for years. That's the truth. Our mother was more than likely a manic, bipolar, paranoid, schizophrenic, but thank you for the compliment. I know this sounds like jack shit, but families are complex, Brandon. Okay? Yeah. Just ask the Donna party. Some of them were family members, and they ate each other, so... God. Everything is just one big joke to you, isn't it? I tell jokes, I try to laugh, because if I didn't, I'd be crying all the effing time. All right, well, I'm not laughing anymore, Star. Where are you going? At the end of the day, what's the difference? When this is over, you're just gonna leave anyway. What are you talking about? I'm going for a drink. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yeah. Shit. I thought I knew you. But lately Pretty much always how it is around here. 
I'm, uh, I'm JT, by the way. JT? JT. Good to meet you, JT. You're not from around here, are you? How'd you guess? Well, the shorts help. <laughs> <laughs> So, JT, what does that stand for? Jesus Todd. What? Jesus Todd? Jesus Todd. <laughs> How do you end up with a name like Jesus Todd? First name's Todd, but grew up in a house full of older brothers. So every time I screwed up, and even most of the time when I wasn't, Everybody's always yelling out, Jesus, Todd. I guess it's stuck. Huh. Rich. Your name's Rich? No, I'm, uh, I'm Brandon. Brandon. OK, Brandon, Brandon. What you drink? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's your drinking a lot. All right. Cheers, Jesus Todd. It's for being the mother you want to be. You do so much to shape your baby's future. For well, me and my mom, we are really this is ridiculous. The baby would probably prefer to remain with its mother, but she's never far away. Oh, come on, universe. What am I supposed to do with my life? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. And stop. It was as if our entire country looked into a mirror and saw our better selves. We were reminded that we are citizens with obligations to each other, to our country, and to history, and the good we can do. For too long, our culture has said, if it feels good, do it. Now America's embracing a new ethic and a new creed. It's me. Star, Christ, do you know what time it is? I'm gonna fight for her, Mitch. I'm gonna fight for her. I'm not going anywhere. Not this time. I just wanted you to know, so. <laughs> hey, easy, easy, easy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, not on the first date, all right? My sister said Ooh. not to do anything, and, well, she's a complete slut, so... Jesus <laughs> Christ. Whatever, but... <laughs> hey, be a gentleman, okay? A gentleman. A gentleman. Good things come to those who wait. Oh, yeah. And if you wait long enough, then you might come. <laughs> really? You're a comedian, you know that? <laughs> fuck are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm looking for your tonsils. Hey, hey, I'm straight, OK? I'm not gay. You're straight? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm the princess I am. <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh... 
Would that be a uh, princess? Look away from me, you queer. What the fuck is your problem? My problem? You're the faggot. Okay. Okay, I see what this is. You're like, what? Two? Two and a half years from praying away the gay? Or did you think you were the first one to go down that road? Because you sure as shit ain't the first city queer to wander out here. A fucking head case out of towners. Fuck you say? Look, Mary, it ain't that complicated. See, this whole educate the gay youth of America thing, it ain't my goddamn job. We're either here to fuck or we aren't. Yeah. That's what I thought. Wait. What? Sleep star. Please. Oh, oh my god, Brandon. What happened? Nothing. Just just go back to sleep. Does someone hurt you? Oh my god. I hurt somebody. I hurt somebody. Baby, 
you go. So cute. <laughs> Really? How do you feel? Like a truck ran over my brain and put it back inside. And the other guy, is he? I have a hazy memory of him running away, so I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Brandon? This star? I'm here. I know. I can see you. No, I'm not here. I'm... I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. And, uh... I just thought you should know. The other day, you asked me what my take is. Remember? Mm -hmm. Well, I've been thinking about it a lot recently. I've been trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out a lot of stuff. I've always had this image in my head of me sitting on the edge of a pool, kind of like this feet are in the water, and I can feel the bottom with my toes. And as long as I can feel the bottom, I'm good. I'll be fine. But recently, past few months, it scares me, because I, I can't feel it anymore. It just goes on forever and ever, you know? Probably doesn't make much sense. <laughs> It actually makes a lot of sense. I'm lost, Star. I'm really lost. Like bad loss. Everything is slipping away from me. And it scares the fuck out of me. Does it sound like ape shit to say that I don't really have the answers, Brandon? But I do love you. Truthfully? Yeah. <laughs> From you, it does. You're so mean. <laughs> okay. Well, you must be hungry, because I hear a night of gay bashing can really work up enough to take this. So, quick stop around the corner. You want anything? Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you over there. We gotta get going soon, though, okay? The star. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Your poison, fortified with essential glutamites and preservatives, or little fried ringlets of the mystery meat. Hey. Uh, nice size? <laughs> it's an exercise, okay? In what, Geisha? In the program, they teach us to implement one component of our new lives as an expression of our manhood. So, I thought I'd do the opposite. No? What do you think? Brand, just because you decided to poke your head out of your closet a little bit doesn't mean the guy that pops out has to be Boy George. 
Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. Where's it? Is this water? It's not coming off. How do you get this stuff off? Not so fast, Jack Sparrow. This looks crazy. <laughs> You're a good woman, Star. You're a good woman, too, Brandon. <laughs> Asshole. Either it's real or a bad batch of acid from the ninth grade has leaked into my spinal cord, hitched a ride on an aneurysm, and leaked into my brain. Oh, start, start, start. We don't have much time here. What are you gonna do? I don't know. But I feel like I'm the Millennium Falcon on the Death Star's track to be my can't help myself. Nice star. You know my name? Guys, bring it down a notch. Come on. Lady's allowed to get some Skittles if she wants to. It is a free country. Yesterday, these meatheads almost took out an entire group of church seniors whose bus passed me by while I was jogging. I told them, hey, guys, guys, only shoot the ones that don't have their RNC cards on them. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. Oof, you're a tough crowd. I just want you to know... The door is closed between us. Excuse me, Missy? The door. It's closed. Between us. It's over. Okay? Well, all right then. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. I'll see you around. Sam? See you, Mr. President. Mr. President. to be? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Thanks. Could I help you two with anything? I think my sister just broke it off with George W. So we're good, sir. <laughs> you have a good day, OK? Bye. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're not only famous for our over 3,000 different aquatic species, but also for our most famous resident, Sasha the Whale. 
inches. Ooh. Behind this reinforced corrugated steel tank is 360 metric tons of ionized purified salt water. We've recreated an orca's natural environment to give her the utmost comfort here at the park. Sasha's an orca, or according to her scientific classification, an orcanist orca. <laughs> She's an adolescent female and weighs three and a half tons. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> if this works and we don't get arrested, I will walk through downtown Des Moines butt naked. Don't worry, she can't get out of there. She's harmless anyway. <laughs> Okay, Sherlock, what's the plan here? Um, How exactly are you gonna get that thing to swallow okay. mom's ashes? Seriously. Uh, we need a fish. That's what we no need. Way. We need a fish. Are you yes. crazy? Why? I have seen this movie. It ends up with my arm being chomped off by a killer whale while, while the whole thing is streamed on YouTube by the little Hi. girl over there. Hi. Great, we need a friend. Seriously, we need a plan. Grant, we have exactly seven minutes to do this. You shoot a picture over to Ira, or all of this was for naught. Seriously, come on, look how far we've come, please. This isn't the real Sasha. Huh? The real Sasha passed away. This is Sasha number two. Good to know. Okay, and that wraps up our special behind the scenes tour. Everyone here at the Roderick Texas Aquarium hope you had a whale of a day. So, everyone, follow me. Open it. Open it. I think you should do it, okay? No. No, you're the man. Open it. <sighs> I'm a bitter, confused, potential atheist. Gender does not come into play here. You can't. Randy, I'll do it. Careful, careful. Hey, Mom. This is it? Yeah, that's Mom. What do you... Well, where's the rest of her? What do you mean rest... Without being graphic, this is what happens when they incinerate your whole body. That's what's left. Brandon. What? What's she wrong? was always so there, right? Isn't this crazy? I mean, her whole life reduced to this. It's just it's so simple. It's life. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but. What are you doing with that? Whoa. Um, <clears throat> we're just, uh, you know, wanting to spend an extra few minutes with Sasha, is all. Yeah. yeah. We're, uh,. We're friends with her. Yeah, yeah, we just uh, want to give her a snack and, you know, say our goodbyes. So why don't you run off to your parents and, and we'll do just that, okay? Okay. Snack? Yeah, yeah, snack, because um, we are friends with friends her. Friends with her. Yeah. Okay, who's doing? Get that fish from there. I can't. Shove the packet in his mouth. I can't do and the throw the thing over to Sasha. I can't do the raw fish. What, what, I, I have why? A thing. What, what, what do you mean you have a thing? With, I'm what, what do you mean? With raw fish, okay? What? I can't go anywhere near a raw fish. Brandon, Brandon, you're gay, okay? Gays love sushi. It's in your genetic code, okay? You'll be just fine as long as we don't bring too much attention to ourselves. Everything's gonna be fine, and we can just. Terry! They're gonna put Sasha! Okay, Brandon, Brandon, the jig is up. Okay, go, okay, go, okay. go, 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 go,
Now, the map said it's a protected landmark area, so should be nice. Hurry up! Come on! I'm coming! Uh, Brandon? Whoa. What is that? Is that a sign? Come on. Come on! All right. Let's do it! Right here. Okay, let's say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful and very relevant setting for our friends here. Family, come on. Family. Please watch over them and guide them for the rest of their little lives. Amen. Woman. Okay. Hey guys, listen up. This is the real world, okay? This ain't gonna be easy. There are storms and hunters and alligators that are gonna eat you. But my advice, Stick together, your family, and you'll be just fine. Okay, let's do this. On three? On three. On three. One, two, three. Thank you. Good job, Star. Home sweet home. Look at him go. <laughs> what do you think?
Love taking pictures. Ah. So good at taking pictures. All right. It's a very good. Very distracting, okay? Let me drive. Very yes, we can go. Let me drive. You know, sometimes I think Adele speaks like this. This is a very good Adele accent. Can you do you do an Adele accent? Or an Aussie accent, mate. Good eye, mate. How's it going? Have a beer and a shrimp on the barbie. Or South African over there, bro. What's your favorite accent? They're all terrible. How about you do an English accent? Hello, Poppet. I'm your governor. That right? is terrible. Can I have a cup of tea and scones? Right? You that were... Was, that was good. Work. You should never do an English accent. That was good. No, you should I know never I'm good. do an English accent. I know I'm your good. Your English accent is like... Listen again. Hello, Poppet. Can I have a cup of tea, governor? That's perfect. Oh, my God, governor! That's my name's Adele! That's perfect. My name's Adele. Who's Adele? She's... I don't know. I'm just fucking with you. I, I don't know. I know who Adele is. Good eye, mate. That's a good Australian accent. Cheers, mate. Show, cause I got 